Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lawrence. Okay, this is part two of our little mask adventure over at Artist Till Death. And this is where we're going and doing a little added um, embellishment. And our, um, the sound is off because Jeff's watching the movie in the background and I can't do that on YouTube. Erica says hi. So what we're working with there, that is her bag of chameleon powders. And I believe that one was Bad Apple. We also got Grumpy Out and there's a couple other ones as well. And I think, I'm not sure which one that one is to be honest with you. Anyway. So the deco art pen was what I was talking about before, where we're using that to apply either the chameleon powders or she's got a chameleon flake that's really, really pretty that she's starting to carry now. But you simply, you dab it on, you let it dry very briefly until it gets tacky, and then you dab the uh, powder on, like put a little bit of the powder on with your finger, and then apply it that way, and it looks super cool. So we are working on applying little extra embellishment lines to our mask right now. Now Erica is going to be in and out of the picture because she is working like a dog. She's got orders to put out. I th think they were going out of town really soon. And so she was in and out. But yeah, we had a good time doing some added stuff. And here I am simply, um, I drew a whole bunch of lines on that last one and ended up brushing on the chameleon powder but it ended up sticking with more than what i was expecting and i kind of like it so i left it there and i'm going to end up putting like a uv like a sealer spray or something like that just to get it to stay in place before i can do my final coat and i'm trying to figure out if i should do like uh an added like a gloss spray kind of thing or do some resin on top of it now we did do an experiment with resin, and you saw a picture of one of those in the last video where it was mo mostly like gray and white and black, and I think there was a touch of the chameleon powder in there. And it ended up turning out pretty well. However, if you do decide to do resin with them, um, wait till the resin gets a little thicker in the cup. And the reason for that is so it, because of the shape of the mask, resin will, ha will continue to flow until it, it gets to that setting point and thickens up. And this just helps it stay on the mask a little bit longer uh, before it all flows off. And I did some um, on Artapalooza, and that video is coming up real soon, where I did some masks with resin on there. And the resin only stayed in the cup for like maybe 15 minutes, and I, maybe I should have had it a little bit longer. For it to work better is it got a little bit thinner than I would like would have liked but anyway I have to admit doing this embellishment with um, the pen and the chameleon as just just that little extra sparkle and pizzazz to it I really really like how it it gives it you know just that extra little touch And I believe there are some deco foils like the uh, nail foils that uh, I know Erica uses them a lot with her watercolor uh, paintings that she's been doing like her mermaid and such or she'll use this almost a transparent iridescent foil and this deco art works really well with those as, um, also I seem to be saying as well a whole bunch pardon me <laughs> So it's funny, whenever I go up to go visit um, Erica, I have started doing this pattern where I have not only like an overnight bag with all my, you know, clothes and stuff, but I'll also have an art bag. So it's like potential projects that we can work on, either do it on video or not do it on video and just play. But, you know, she goes live every day. And so content is, a you know, an issue that anybody who's on YouTube um sometimes struggles with or sometimes not but coming up with new fresh content um especially on the fly with him going live uh i've seen her as like ah oh, you got any ideas <laughs> and we'll throw around some ideas or i'll just bring up something we can do spontaneously 
and in this case with with her planning on her trip and this was the uh, the Mexico trip which if anybody follows the ATV family they had one it was not a good adventure because a, uh, a hurricane came through right around that same time but good news is they made it back safely so I have brought in all kinds of stuff and this was something very very different that I have than I've ever brought so and I think it went it went pretty well so anyway I've also purchased some feathers from uh, Amazon and I thought I might do up a couple of these and glue some feathers underneath them so that way when you're looking at them the feathers are coming in from behind and I've been trying to think of different ways to do the feather um, as far as adhering it so that way if somebody did decide to wear it it wouldn't interfere with the skin and get in the way or be scratchy and stuff so I'm, I'm that's my next next little project that I'm trying to figure out <laughs> I believe that's Pugsley, the the male cat that keeps coming up on the counter, and he has to check out what's going on. And of course, Bowie has to be by Erica's side, so he's always fun. All anyway, right, these deco pins are a lot like um, painters' pins, where you push down on the nib and it allows the solution to flow. And that was one of mine that was giving me fits. I was like, it just wasn't working. We both had one mask that we weren't real crazy about, and we kept trying and trying to make it work. And that one for me was like, eh. I went too far and I should have stopped at a point because it had a really graphic kind of bold characteristic to it. And I just, I went too far and I did too much with it. It's that whole, you know, knowing when to stop. And I didn't. I went too far. Oh, well. So what do you, oh, put in the descriptions below in the comments. I want to know what you do with your buddies when you come in and you hang out together. I mean, do y'all do projects together? Do y'all just sit and chat? Y'all hang out on the porch? Do y'all, you know, go, go get your nails done? Um, what are the things you guys like to do with your, your friends? Let me know. All right, I am going to sign off, throw some music on. There's just a little bit left to go. And I will talk to you guys later. Oh, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit that bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Check out Erica's page. She's got two of them. She's got a YouTube channel for Artists Till Death. Her and Erica do lives every day, as well as their website, artistilldeath.com. And they sell pretty much anything you need uh, to create resin art and that's their uh, that's the primary place where I go to get all my resin colors so see y'all later It's all about humanity.